two and holy crap, we have some Captain Marvel news, uh, new footage from the, the you know you want to see it, I want to see it, let's look at this movie. And I'm super excited, especially after all the news of Captain Marvel being less likable than the cat in her own movie. I'm excited, aren't you? Oh, I, I didn't make a video on that, I've been meaning to, but man, th this one popped up and we, we, gotta, we gotta take a look at this, we gotta take a look. So this comes from Sci-Fi Wire, SciFiWire.com. I rarely use SciFiWire.com. It was a very good night for fans, for uh, for fans for whom March eighth, the debut of Captain Marvel and International Women's Day, by the way, yay us, <laughs> can't come soon enough. For nigh upon one a.m., Brie Larson, the Cree incarnate, with a few simple words, I'll just leave this here. Treated us all to a brand new action sequence. From the much anticipated film, oh, and we can't wait, can we? She with with all the bored indifference of a teenager texting at the dinner table, Captain Marvel. I mean, just just look at her. She she looks like she wants her cell phone back. And good on ya, good on ya. She's the bestest superhero ever. It features a train we've seen before in the pics from the film, complete with the quite common chase scene trope of two or more people running and fighting atop a moving train. The frequency with which, this, with, with which this happens in action movies is quite shocking once you really think of the odds of this ever happening, but with the added bonus of Nick Fury uh, as and Agent Col Coulson chasing after the train itself by car. Is it just me or do these words kind of seem a little, they might seem a little weird. I, th I think it's because I stumbled or, or they stumbled on the, uh, it's a good night for fans for whom, yeah, the, the two fours. That, that was all downhill from there. All downhill from here. Oh, well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. And yes, seeing Samuel L. Jackson drive a car through 1990s LA again is every bit the Pulp Fiction throwback you think it would be. Watch below. So here, we're going to watch below. This is from Brie Larson's official Twitter. All right. Oh. It has volume. It has some volume. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Was he in a s- she, uh, Okay, I had to stop it. She's chasing a guy in a sweater? Like khakis? <laughs> Does he work at Target? <laughs> um, and, and this is- This is- Oh, really? This is hilarious. She couldn't be chasing the, the grandma that she punched in the other- this is a comedy, right? Okay, so this is like a super ridiculous, stupid comedy. Maybe market it like that. You need to tell us. Okay, Samuel L. Jackson's awesome. This, this is so... Train's heading for a tunnel up ahead. Yeah, like, they're, they're gonna run into, like, um... But, but, uh, what's his name's character from Falling Down? And, like, a traffic jam here in 1990s LA, huh? That'd be funny. I'd watch that. Oh, so where was the punchline? I mean, okay, so she's chasing a guy in a sweater. Did I, oh, they they usually tell you the jokes in these. Look at this guy. He's got glasses even. He kind of <laughs> he kind of reminds me of the the dad. The spoiler for the Lost Boys, the head vampire Max. That's who he kind of reminds me of. <gasps> oh my god, this is hilarious. Why is this so hilarious? Why is this so freaking? He seriously. <laughs> She's beating up a target employee. <laughs> okay, this is way too funny. Okay, so what do you guys think? Was that awesome or, or ridiculous? Because that's kind of ridiculous. The forty-five uh, at forty-five seconds long, it manages to be quite the meaty teaser. Any guesses on what the unlucky guy in the sweater? Uh, any guesses on who the unlucky guy in a sweater and chinos is? We're not sure, but we are convinced that if Nick Fury says he's going to meet them at the station, he will probably manage to do that. And with a little over a month to go until Marvel Miss, Marvel Miss, oh, that's, no, that's a bad, bad. You, you should never say that again. Let, let's make it, let's make an agreement. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? I gotta scroll up. Uh, Alexis so Sotile, Sotile, please never say that again. Let, let's just never, never use Marvel Miss again. 
This is probably not our last clue. Oh, of course, we'll get some Super Bowl trailer. I think that's that big sports ball game next next year, tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, what do you guys think? <laughs> I imagine I imagine this guy in chinos turns out to be the little old lady Danvers punches in the earlier clips. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like, it, she probably, like, she would have, she would she could, words. We see her on the train in the original trailer punch the old lady in the face, which you know is probably one of the en- enemy alien guys, right? So I imagine she's just going after like these normal people. Maybe it jumped into this target employee. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? This is kind of hilarious. And if the movie turns out to be unintentionally hilarious, then it might be at least inter- entertaining that way. Because I know I'm going to be stuck seeing this thing. We've talked about this movie so much on this channel. What do you guys think? Does this look exciting? Does this does, does this look kind of ridiculous? Does this look like something you would watch? I don't know. Just just for fun to laugh at because that's kind of where I'm where I'm thinking this might head. I mean, you've got a cat that's going to be funnier than than Captain Marvel or the star of the thing. People are already saying, oh, yeah, I love the cat. I love the cat. That cat was awesome. And that's the only thing they're saying. They're not saying anything about how much they want to see Captain Marvel. They aren't saying anything else. They're saying, oh, she punched the old lady. And now they're saying she's chasing a guy in khakis. And that's what I'm going to title this video, probably. You know, Captain Marvel punches guy in khakis in a sweater. It's just... <laughs> is this is this where we're at with this movie? Oh, God, it, it kind of feels like it's one of these movies that's going to be so bad, it might be hilarious. Because, because, yeah, when, when you hear employees like, say, say things like, oh, yes, or not employees, the test screening audience, which I think I heard somewhere were the employees, because they don't actually re- release these movies anymore to test. That's why I didn't make a video on this, but we're going to kind of go off on a tangent anyway. When people say they like the cat more in the test screenings, that says a lot about Captain Marvel herself. That says a lot that she's not memorable, that she's kind of not the star in her own movie. She's kind of like the Han Solo of this this universe. It really feels like from the trailers, from everything we're seeing. Just just kind of think back to, to when we were watching the Han Solo trailer, right? I know for me, at least, I, w- I would see everything but Han Solo as kind of interesting. It's like, oh, there's Khaleesi. Oh, there's there's Lando. There's Chewbacca. And Han Solo is kind of a side thought in his own movie. And that's kind of what Brie Larson seems to be. She's very nondescript, very timid. She, she looks kind of afraid and bored in this photo, even. I... Uh... I think I think we're at that point on this film that this might be this might be Marvel's Han Solo, you know? This this might be something that nobody wanted, nobody cares about. The main character is a side character in her own movie, except for the fact that I don't think Captain Marvel's nearly as beloved as Han Solo was. I mean, seriously, only serious serious comic book people really know who Captain Marvel is. Your normie audience, me, only knows only knows her from the 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 movie that's it (sighs) and and marvel dc all of you guys keep that in mind when you're making these movies we don't know a lot of these deep characters and you're kind of making these movies towards the normie audience (sighs) anyway tell me what you guys think in the comment section below i am mecha random 42 i have blabbed on long enough this is kind of a hilarious very hilarious uh little little clip here go watch that it's on her twitter Follow Brie Larson on Twitter. Be nice to her. We don't, we aren't mean to people to their faces. <laughs> we only talk about them behind their backs. No, we're horrible here on this channel, but seriously, don't be mean to people to their faces on, on Twitter or anything. I will see you guys on the next live stream or video. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.